All right, so I wanted to do a full video on the process of making these nanoparticles. The first step to making any type of nanoparticle is to clean your glassware. And I use aqua regia for this. Uh, that's a mixture of hydrochloric and nitric acid. It turns brown here due to the formation of nitrogen oxides in solution. You want the glassware really clean because you don't want the nanoparticles to start nucleating prematurely. So yeah, just giving that a little swirl in there and dumping it out. Now that it's clean, I need to make my sodium citrate solution. I was gonna do a smaller batch, but the first scoop, I realized I added too much, so I just went with making a full batch. I probably should have used a smaller spatula, but oh well. <laughs> But yeah, after I weigh out the necessary amount of sodium citrate, I then make my solution by adding it to the right amount of water. This was half a gram of citrate added into 50 mils of water. Then I just need to mix it with the vortexer and I can go on to the next step. Next, I'm diluting my gold source, in this case, uh, HAUCl4 or hydrogen tetrachloroaurate. This was a 100 millimolar stock solution, so I didn't need very much of it. A little bit goes a long way. And once I made that, I put it on the hot plate to boil, and then I add the sodium citrate, and now the reaction starts. It initially goes clear and then very dark and then red, and this is the process of nucleation and growth happening. It's so cool to see this reaction happen. But eventually the reaction turns red and I know it's done. This recipe was to make nanoparticles between 10 and 20 nanometers. I'm Craig and I hope you enjoyed.